Welcome to Cindy Certified Recipes. Today's strudel day, and even though my mom would tell me stories about her mother would make this dough from scratch and stretch it so thin you could see through it, I have a favorite recipe I like to use from the Villa Verde Cafe at the Disneyland Hotel, and it lets me cheat and use packaged phyllo dough. So please like and subscribe, everybody. It helps me bring you great recipes like this one. Now let's go make that strudel. I wanna start off by showing you the phyllo dough. There's really not a huge mystery to it, and it's worth using and not trying to go with the puff pastry. It even tells you on the box what to do. Uh, so you just get a, a baking sheet and open up the box and lay in your phyllo dough, like so. And then it says on the box, and you just, that you just put plastic wrap over it and a wet towel. And you just set it like this and you set it aside so that it's ready for you to use. And you can use uh, parchment here. Uh, I like to use a little, these are called flour sack towels, uh, so it doesn't move around. And so we're gonna start off by, I've already cut up about six apples, that's about a pound uh, of apples that I've cut up. And I'm gonna put some cinnamon sugar in there. This is about, um, uh, oh, about half a teaspoon of cinnamon and a third a cup of sugar. And we're gonna use about a third of that on the apples. And reserve the rest for putting on the apples right before we roll it up. That's good. We're gonna mix that up. This recipe from the Villa Verde uh, Cafe at Disneyland Hotel uh, doesn't call for raisins or nuts, which I personally kind of like, uh, but you can add them if you prefer them. So now that's all mixed up. We're just gonna set that aside and let those flavors marry and the juices come out. I'm gonna start buttering up our phyllo dough. So we're gonna get a sheet, uncover it, Grab a sheet carefully. If it tears, it's okay. Because you're gonna be putting layers on there. So if there's a few tears on there, it doesn't matter. Straighten it out as best as you can. Cover up your phyllo dough. Grab your butter. This is about a stick and a half of butter. And get one of these little pastry brush, these nylon guys, and just start buttering up your phyllo dough. There's no right or wrong way here, just get some butter on there. I'm gonna be using five sheets of phyllo dough for this one. You'll see other strudel recipes that I'll use various amounts, but this particular one just calls for five, which makes for a nice, light crust once it's baked. So I'm gonna get another piece of phyllo dough and I'm gonna do this four more times. There we go, we'll cover up our, the rest of our phyllo dough so it doesn't dry out. And now we're gonna get our apples. And we just want the apples and not the juice. And you don't want those to go all the way out to the edge. Let's keep them close in. like so. And then you're gonna take the rest of your cinnamon sugar and sprinkle on there. Oh, 
like so. Rinse my hands off. Now we gotta fold this, and so what we're gonna do is we're gonna start off by pressing this down on the sides. And I like to put a little bit of butter there for when I fold it over. Like so. And now you start folding it. Keep it nice and tight. And now you're going to put this seam side down on a parchment lined baking pan. And I'm going to coat this with a little bit of an egg wash. This is a whole egg and a little bit of cream, about a tablespoon of cream. And this will give it really nice color when it's done. And we're gonna place this in the oven at 375 degrees for approximately 30 minutes. Here's our gorgeous strudel out of the oven. It's all golden and crispy, and it's been resting 30 minutes. And I'm gonna take it off of the sheet here and put it on the board. I'm going to cut into it and you can see the inside. You can also tell, I'm going to tell you first off that this uh, egg wash is one of my favorite egg washes, the whole egg with a little bit of cream. It does the perfect amount of browning and gloss. So let's cut off a piece here. So nice and crispy. And you can see the inside. It's beautiful and it's so tasty and it's one of the easiest strudels you're gonna do and everybody's gonna love it. So don't be intimidated by phyllo dough. It's so easy, it doesn't have to lay straight or perfect. And uh, when you do puff pastry, it's more like a apple danish than a, than a strudel. So go for the phyllo and, and uh, you'll be happy you did. Perfectly crispy, delicately flaky, and perfectly cooked apples. Nobody will believe how easy this is. And remember, if it's time-tested, top-notch ingredients, and the talk of the table, it's Cindy Certified.